Hey everybody, welcome to Sid's Little Corner of the Internet. We've got another Transformers review coming your way. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection Cybertron Universe Autobot Override. Man, what a mouthful. Let's go ahead and take a look at that packaging. And right up top, you have Override in that alt mode looking fantastic. Velocitron Speedia. I do like this packaging very much. I, I enjoy what they've done here. And you've got that big logo right there. There you have the alt mode. Everything looks fast and zoomy on this for sure. There he is in his robot mode looking good. Transformers Legacy's Voyager class. There's the big gaping hole. Transformers over here. So I'm trying to reverse override. There's some nice artwork of his bot mode. On the back you have your product shots looking pretty fine. 19 steps. You've got all your warnings. Baby's sad. I don't know why. Maybe baby's afraid of really fast cars. Over here you've got some Cybertronian. You've got that logo and uh, the Transformers Authentic. And down low you have a little bit of that information and uh, then that really cool logo again. Alright, so that is it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and see what came inside that box. Behold, laid out here before you is everything that came inside that box, and we'll start as we always do. A little sheet of warnings. Yay, some things never change. And then you also get your instruction booklet. So that leaves you with the one and only accessory that he comes with, and that is his weapon slash engine slash Ghostbusters proton pack. At least that's what it reminds me of, as you can see right there. It looks a little proton packish. But I do like this little weapon. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the wings are all about, but you can move them. Uh, you've got this uh, black matte plastic, and you can bring those little wings up if you want to do that. And then you do have his cannons there. Now in his car mode, this look, you know, it sets in his back and looks like an engine. Uh, but when he holds it, yeah, it's a pretty cool gun. And you do have a port right there for blast effects or whatever you want to put in there, five millimeter port. And you can bring those back down, and you can take the cannons and bring them forward as such. There you go. So you have a really big gun, and it looks pretty cool. Um, I have no major complaints with it. I, I kind of dig it. So, yeah, there you go. It is Blast Effect compatible, so that's always a plus. And, yeah, that's, that's really it. That is the one and only accessory that he has, but he looks good with it. So, all right, no sense dwelling on that. Let's go ahead and move on, and we'll take a look at Override himself and uh, see his details. Here he, or she, is the fastest racer from Velocitron. This is Override. And I say he or she because I've seen conflicting reports of the uh, bio and the mythology of Override. Some say male, some say female. It's a robot either way. I'm just going to go with he. I'm defaulting to that. So uh, let's go ahead and move forward. And we're going to start right up here with that head sculpt. And I like it. It's It's cool. I just uh, overall like the look of this entire figure. So, yeah, you've got that nice gold and those blue eyes. Now, it does look like there's uh, light piping because you've got that clear head in the back. But uh, so far, I have yet to make that light piping work. So let's just go with nice pretty blue eyes and the gold face and that wicked cool helmet. And then coming down here to the chest, you've got that nice blue Diamond, almost like a Superman shape right there, which is cool. And those reds and whites and the uh, clear cockpit right there. Moving on down to the crotch. Looks really cool. Interesting sculpt work all the way around. When you see Override in his or her vehicle mode, uh, at least for me, it reminds me of uh, Speed Racer. So just the reds and whites and all that swoopy action. But yeah, you've got some good sculpt work in there. And then you come down to these big old black feet with these huge heels. Oh man, I can't tell you how much I enjoy these huge heels. Uh, just all kinds of ability for posing there. And then I don't want to spoil anything, but look at those wheels. There's no mushroom pegs. No mushroom pegs, guys. This is great. I love it. Uh, you do have 5mm ports underneath the feet, so you can totally rocket boot the figure. And moving around to the side, you've got... Some good detail going on there. You have another 5mm port. And then those skinny little legs. And you can see that everything comes together pretty well, so you really don't have any hollow areas. And then up underneath, everything looks good there as well. 
and then you have these nice gold accents on the shoulder pads and then coming down here to the forearms and a couple more five millimeter ports so all that looks so good and then coming around here to the back the back if the figure is going to fall apart anywhere it's going to fall apart in the back and i guess i'm going to be all right with that so uh, this is what he looks like from the back it's not awful but sorry about that edit guys uh what i, what I was saying was he could have used uh, maybe some panels back here to kind of hide some of this going on back here but really it's not that bad uh, i kind of enjoy the way he looks back here so uh, no major issues for me whatsoever on the way this figure looks i really like it now as far as the articulation goes uh, we'll start up here with the head uh, there, that, there is a limitation here you're not going to do much with this head uh, you don't really get an up and down and you don't really get a side to side you just kind of get to turn it that far and then you get to turn it that far really before the chin starts to hit now i guess you could force it if you wanted to but then you're running the risk of damaging the chin and uh, i already feel as though i've done too much so going down to the shoulders you can come up that far with the shoulders and you can go all the way around i do have to mention all the joints are nice and tight on this figure i love the nice tight joints so thank you thank you thank you for that uh, elbow bend you're going to get just over 90 or maybe right at 90 and then bicep rotation all the way around at the wrist you get wrist rotation all the way around coming down to the waist now you do get waist rotation but this backpack if you will is going to get in your way so you're, you're not going to get a lot here you're going to get a few degrees either way before you run into that backpack now you know i suppose you could you know maybe try to move stuff out of the way if you need a little bit more but that's not bad at least you have a waist rotation although it's just a few degrees all right coming down here to the legs oh yeah this is great gotta get those arms out of the way looky 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 we get a full van dam that is some great splittage like it all right now kicking forward you're gonna kick forward that far you're gonna kick backward that far before you hit that backpack so kind of a similar deal if you bring that leg out you know you could get a little further back but at that point you're basically lined up with the rest of the body so you're not really gaining anything so decent amount of maneuverability there uh, you do have thigh rotation so you could go all the way around with it if you want to and then at that knee nice deep knee bend just on that single joint right there and then coming down to the feet that's good oh nice tight joints all right so at the feet you can bring the feet down that far bring the feet up that far and then as far as the ankle tilt goes you get about that much ankle tilt so it's not the greatest but you do get some so he's limited by all this geometry going on down here so there is a little bit of uh, style over function going on here but uh, i mean still you can you can get some pretty decent stuff with him so that's not the worst i've ever seen in a figure not at all definitely able to get him in some really sweet poses all right so now that we've covered the details and the articulation let's go ahead and throw his accessory on uh, and throw some blast effects on this guy and have a little bit of fun he does have a three millimeter flight stand right there so we're going to go ahead and take advantage of that as you can see there is a pretty good amount of playability here when it comes to those blast effect ports and with that one accessory that really cool gun that he comes with uh, so you know you've just got ports all over this guy and of course the one i really enjoy is is, is on the gun that looks like that proton pack you can get some uh, electrical discharge going as it's firing off uh, its uh, its weapons now the one thing that i will say is what i've noticed is it seems that on this figure in particular that the all the ports are a little shallow i mean they're there and you can get blast effects in there but the ports are a little shallow so if you look closely here they just don't they don't they're not very deep they just don't drop all the way down in there and even back here same thing so uh, they hold fairly securely, but they don't, they just don't penetrate as deeply as I've seen on some of the other figures, but still you can just have an absolute blast with this guy pun fully intended. So yeah, there you go. I, I think he looks pretty good with that gun and, uh, certainly looks good with rocket boots and everything else that you can do here with those blast effects. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy into his, uh, alt mode, which is really cool and take a look at him from there. Go Speed Racer Go! Here we see Override in his or her alt mode. And man, what a fast looking car. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at the details here. I, I really do dig this car mode. So let's bring it in and look at the front. And yeah, that is just 
funky and cool and I like it all the way around. So there is the front. If you can discern parts then have at it. I'm going to say that's the grill and we'll move over to the side and you've got these really cool wheels. I do very much appreciate these wheels because they're not on mushroom pegs and they look so good and you've got that translucent red for those tires which is really really cool it just sets this off pretty pretty good in my opinion now my biggest complaint about the vehicle mode and it's not even really a complaint is it just seems like there's something missing here so it almost feels broken or incomplete but I think it still comes together uh, well enough that when you're talking about a Cybertronian Velocitron Speedy of 500 kind of non-earth alt mode this definitely works for me and coming around to the back, there you have the weapon slash proton pack slash engine. All looking really good. You do have little tail lights back here. Unfortunately, these little tail lights, I tried, they are not effects compatible. So that would have been cool if they were. That way you could have had some quad rockets going on. But they are not. Alas, they still look good. And then there is the other side. And from the top. And from the bottom, so you can kind of see how he folds up under there and uh, everything comes together. So you do have a very minimal clearance, but it is enough. And if I was on a better surface, uh, this surface is not conducive to rolling. But if you had a surface with just a little bit more friction, you, you would see that uh, he actually rolls pretty well in this mode. Uh, the other thing that I like is the head is not completely hidden. So you can see a little peek of face in there. So he doesn't need to disguise himself. He's a race car on another planet, and he needs to see where he's going when he's going fast. So yeah, very cool. He's got his uh, windscreen right there, also translucent. So I do like that. And then these little fins here are adjustable, so you can bring them up if you want. So if you want to have a look like that, you can do that. If you want to have a look like that, you can do that. Or if you want to put them in the middle, like I had them, you can do that. And I kind of like that because it kind of matches the the angle of the front. So for me, it adds a little bit of symmetry. Uh, you know, I, I got to say, I, I don't know what it is about this vehicle, but I like it a lot more than I thought I was going to. And it's almost like a mixture of Speed Racer and the Pod Racer from the Star Wars movies. Uh, it just right here in the front, it just reminds me of those Pod Racers and then you've got a little bit of a proton pack back there. I mean, you've just got all kinds of design cues going on and it all just really comes together and makes this thing funky and wonderful. So I really enjoyed this alt mode. I hope you do as well. So what we'll do now, I'm not going to make a separate segment for it. We're just going to load some accessories up on this thing. Uh, there's there, there's not, a, not a lot of blast effects. Well, the accessories already loaded up, but we'll put some blast effects on here. There's not a lot of blast effects available in this mode. But the ones you have really work. And we're going to start with the most obvious ones, the rockets. So you do have these two, the tips of your uh, gun barrels that are sticking out right there. And you can take your blast effects and plug them in. Now you will notice, I think I may have mentioned this earlier, uh, that the blast effects, they're not very deep. Or at least the, the pegs aren't. So they're not on there, you know, really securely but they're not going to fall off on you I mean so you can shake him and then they're not going to fall off but you know it's pretty easy to do that so just be aware of it but yeah he looks good look at that he is a rocket car done that <laughs> I mean even if there was nothing else that is enough for me but wait there is more because you do have this port right up here and you know when you are you know running a top fuel engine you know, and you've got flames out the back, you know, maybe you've just got so much compression, so much going on in that engine, you've got to have a release elsewhere to just to get all that energy out. So yeah, boom. And then you plug that in. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. That's cool. No doubt about it. And in a pinch, uh, these don't work perfectly in the, in the alt mode, but we're going to do it anyway. You do have these ports down here. And we can just throw a couple blast effects on either side, because why not? And uh, we'll get some of that going on if I can line up and actually find it. There we go. And yeah, uh-oh, that one fell off. Like I say, they don't work perfectly. But, yeah, come on, that was a little undersized. 
But there you go. So yeah, you have uh, blast effect capability in the vehicle mode, and he looks darn good doing it. He really does. So yeah, with that, uh, that is the alt mode for override. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get into those alt mode comparisons and see how he looks next to some other really fast cars. For our first fast car comparison, here we see override next to my little G1 cliff jumper. Speaking of cliff jumpers, here he is in what is maybe one of my favorite Autobot alt modes ever. This is the Transformers Prime cliff jumper in his what is very obviously a Dodge Challenger mode. Continuing on with the Mopar theme, this is Shatter as we saw her in the 2018 Bumblebee movie in her car mode. And for that final all mode comparison, I figured why not have a couple of really fast looking Cybertronian, Velocitronian vehicles going head to head here. So sitting next to Override is the War for Cybertron Siege Chromia in her alt mode. Wow, those alt mode comparisons really went by fast. Get it? Uh, went by fast because he, he's a fast car. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into those bot mode comparisons. For our first bot mode comparison, here we see Override next to my G1 Cliff Jumper. Representing the Transformers Prime line, this is the Transformers Prime Cliff Jumper. Moving on to our next comparison, this is the War for Cybertron Siege Chromia. And last but not least, this is the Studio Series Shatter in her jet mode. Well, the robot version of her jet mode. And with that, bot mode comparisons are finished, so let's go ahead and get into those final thoughts. So there you have the Transformers Legacy Voyager class Cybertron Universe Velocitron Speedia 500 Collection Override. Man, that is a lot of stuff to say for a figure, but it's all relevant and uh, it works. Uh, I have to say that this figure really kind of caught me out of left field. I wasn't expecting this figure and I certainly wasn't expecting to like this figure as much as I do. Uh, so I, I think that this is definitely one that you're going to want to pick up if you can find it. So let's go ahead and get into those numbers a little bit and we'll start with the aesthetics. I love the way this figure looks. It's it's funky. Uh, I, I like the robot mode, that alt mode. I just it screams speed racer. I just love that cool looking race car mode. Uh, the wheels have actual pins instead of mushroom pegs, so you've won me there <laughs> almost completely. Uh, so uh, that's one of my biggest pet peeves, and the fact that they uh, didn't put mushroom pegs goes a long way in my book. Uh, as far as detraction goes, uh, when when the figure's in bot mode, it's kind of got an open back. It could have used some more panels to kind of close up the inner workings, uh, particularly in those legs. And that's not the prettiest backpack, uh, if you want to call it that, but kind of this black area right here. It's not the prettiest thing out there. But from the front, absolutely love the way Override looks. So I'm going to give, go ahead and give the figure a 9 out of 10 for aesthetics. Moving on to articulation, he'll do just about everything you want him to do, almost. So he does have a couple of limitations. You're not going to get anything in that head except for just that uh, turning side to side movement. You're not going to get anything up or down, no quizzical looks. Uh, you are you have a waist rotation, but it's limited, again, because of this black backpack thing here. So you just need to be aware of that. You can get a few degrees out of it, but it's not going to be an incredible amount. And you have limited feet, uh, up, down, and ankle tilt. You've just got a lot of geometry going on down here that kind of makes it difficult to uh, get some of those deeper uh, angles that we've become accustomed to in some of these figures. But for the most part, everything else works really well, and you can get him in some really cool uh, poses. So I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 on articulation. Now, moving on to the accessories. It's pretty good. Um, I, I like it. I like the fact that it's blast effect compatible and it's a double barrel just looks like a big boomer and also doubles kind of looking like a proton pack from the Ghostbusters and you've got an extra port right here where you can throw a blast effect on as well. So really, really cool stuff. I don't know if I'm entirely bought in on it, uh, but I like it. So it, for the first time out, for the first time seeing this mold and the first time seeing this gun, I'm going to score it pretty high. I think that there's a lot of fun to be had with 
the the weapon there and also the fact that it doubles basically as the engine in alt mode that uh, just completes the look of the car so that works really good so I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10 for accessories here moving on to quality I have no major issues on this thing uh, he came with everything he was supposed to all the joints are nice and tight there's not a single loose joint on this guy anywhere and I love it um, the only thing that I could say really is I've got a few minor paint issues primarily to deal with this the gold trim on the chest around the shoulders that kind of stuff but it's all very minor uh, a little bit in those legs with those painted applications so it could have been a little bit better but it works for the most part works really well so I'm gonna give a 9 out of 10 for quality and moving on to our last bullet which is overall value the price of transformers is creeping up there's just nothing we can do about it it's the world that we live in I'm trying to acknowledge that I'm trying to understand that um, but this just doesn't feel like a Voyager class figure to me this feels like a kind of a little bit above a deluxe a little bit of below a Voyager I don't know if it's the size I don't know if there's just something missing there I'm not sure entirely what it was you know I I, I think the uh, War for Cybertron Cyclonus really set the bar high for Voyager class figures for me so maybe I'm reeling a little bit from that maybe I've been a little bit spoiled uh, but I just don't think that this quite reaches the bar for what I would consider the be to be a price point for a Voyager class uh, so uh, I will say that I did pick this figure up off the shelf at my local Walmart this was 33 US dollars so right on that top edge uh, the 33 dollars for a figure this size with this level of engineering is really starting to uh, get to the point where I just don't know if the values there but this is the first time we've seen the figure it really is a good figure so I'm not going to uh, beat him up too bad on that I'm gonna give him a 7 out of 10 so that brings us to a grand total out of a possible 50 points the override Legacy Override gets 41 out of 50, which puts him at 82%. Uh, I'm going to easily recommend this figure just simply because we've never seen anything like this before. Uh, he's just a lot of fun. He's fun to play with. He's fun to pose. Transformation is fun and easy and intuitive. He looks cool. Uh, I love the car mode. I think he's definitely going to be a, a fun addition to your collection. So with that, that is going to wrap up the review. I hope this was entertaining and informative. And if you guys haven't already done so, uh, please be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe and leave some comments if you want to. And until we see you guys in the next review, take care.